all right guys so in the last video we were able to create a protected route as well as protection route guard so let's go ahead and get started with our password retest mechanism and this one i have opened this project in visual studio code and in the templates i want to create two templates one is password reset dot html and markup will be very straightforward i'm going to copy this one and paste it over here and then the third one will be password reset successful dot html so these are the two links that we have and now we will go ahead and create them one by one so for now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna paste everything inside here and ins instead of error password reset i'm gonna save that then the second one is password reset successful password reset successful so these are the two routes and also for the in the password reset i want to import view cdn so we can directly go ahead into view js cdn and with the version 3 so i think that's with the view next and i'm gonna quickly copy this script for now i'm gonna paste that just here and also want to okay that would do the job so i'll be using fetch over here and inside this card body i'm gonna give a form so form div with a form group and inside that input with the normal form control and this will be for type password and also i'm gonna give a label so label will be for password and this id will be password so that it is linked properly with this one and we'll write new password and i'm gonna also place placeholder which will be again containing password and let me quickly copy this one so we need we also need to have a confirm password so confirm password confirm new password we'll simply put that and this will be new password confirm password and here id will be confirm password so these are the two things and in this container i will also give my let's say 5 py also 5 so that it looks quite nice and in the same way i'm gonna copy this put gonna put that in here to the container oops my5 py5 inside this password reset successful my5 py5 and same i'm gonna do it over here my5 py5 so that's basically very straightforward and the verification successful uh, and the password reset successful we'll simply write our code over here so your password is now reset please log in into the account in your log in your account with new password and that's very basic straightforward so inside this password reset i'm gonna use view so as we have already imported this view script over here so we are gonna make the use of it so inside the body only i'm gonna create a new tag called the script and i'm gonna define a view app so const app is equal to view dot create app 
and I'm using options API here uh, which will be mounted to this app so I'm gonna also give an ID to this main container with ID of app and dot mount hash app so it will instantiate this view instance within the scope of this div element that we have and inside the options we can pass our options so one is data and it will return like this then we have a methods so we'll pass our methods over here so inside our data we'll simply say success flag or let me name it done and it will be false by default because at the time of creation of this app the status of the whole process will be for or done will be the false so this is a kind of a flag tracker then we are going to create two variables over here so one is password and which will be empty by default then we have a confirm password so it will be again empty and now we'll bind these two inputs with these things so view comes with a, something called mvvm pattern that is model view view model so we are going to bind these input fields with these so we can use v model password so and this will be confirm password so the values of these two fields will be passed in over here one by one and reset password password and this is going to make an api call so i am going to create this method as an asynchronous task so this is now pretty much that we want to do over here for now and that's it so let's go ahead and start creating our route so firstly we need some kind of route inside our application which will render this file so let's go ahead and create that so inside my users and i'm gonna quickly copy this header that we have created over here so this will be for type get again restricted via email so this page this link can be only opened via this email address that we have and here we'll simply say not api because it is going to render that page over here we'll simply say reset password and it will take a verification code as a variable inside that so we can do that too so for that password reset token that will issue later on so it will re receive it as a prop and we can check that property inside our models so we have this thing password reset token reset password token so let me quickly copy this here instead of this we'll get that by this thing so now we are going to return that page and this will be reset password and this will take that parameter as a variable as a param and it is going to async request response and i'm going to wrap that inside a try and catch block So in case of that error, we want to send this errors HTML page. So return res dot render, and we are going to return uh, actually not render res dot send file. Or oh, let me quickly copy that from our verification code stuff. So we are going to copy this whole page. So we are going to render that same errors html template in case of any error is caught so that's how we do that and now we can simply return that our pa confirm password field so let first of all we'll find that request dot params and we'll pull in that rest dot uh, actually reset password token and then we'll try to find that so if and actually firstly we'll find that user so let user equal to await 
user.find1 and in that one we'll pass our this token so we'll find that user if there is a user with that id we will simply get that user over here and now if not user is there so in case that user is not there we will send password reset error again so we can throw thro new error user not found with this reset password token otherwise we will return our page so we are validating kind of we are validating that check so password reset html page so we'll return that and now we need to to instantiate this thing so we need to create some kind of a route which will be api request so let me quickly copy these headers again and this will be of a type post where we will send the user's email id access will be public this one because anyone can go and this will be kind of api or uh, let's name this one reset password now and this one will be for our mm, instantiating that reset password link so router dot post actually let's make it put request because it is going to change something so api slash reset password and in here now we are not receiving any kind of parameter and this will be to initiate the password reset method or let's call it process so this is a public and now we will simply put one kind of validation because it needs some kind of uh, email to be create email to be passed over to this one so inside our validators we are going to export another constant from here and that is reset password validator and this will just take the email of the user so as in normal scenario the email is sent from the client to the server and then server initiate that password reset field so now we can use that here in the validator reset password so we brought in that validator from the validators we can pass them let me shrink this one a bit and even this one so reset password and then validator middleware and then it will accept asynchronous request and response from here and now let's gonna let's we wrap that inside that try and catch error in case of that error we'll send a normal response error response that we have an error occurred so we can paste that over here but in a try block what we can do we can get that email from the request.body so equal to request.body so from there we are going to extract our email and now inside our users model that we have we can make the use of this method that we defined called generate password reset link so here we are going to generate that using that user so let user equal to await user dot find one and here we'll pass our email as a query and if not user if there is no user then we'll return some something else otherwise we'll create that we'll we'll call this method and then await user dot save okay so let me copy this response if there is not a user so we'll simply pass that 404 user not found not found error user with this email 
is not found otherwise we are going to call this generate password reset method and then we are going to save that user back into the database so it will automatically have these two fields also as you can see when we create that this it will automatically create those those two fields in here so now what i'm going to do here is return this response so let me copy this again paste that and this time success will be true so we have a flag password reset link is sent to your email and so far we haven't sent that so we have to send the password reset link in the email and for that we have already created that function so we can make the use of it so from our router does this request body here we can grab this whole part uh, this from HTML as well as the send mail and now we need to just call this method again so here we can simply call it user dot username to reset your password and we are also going to give a message if this password reset request is not created by you then you can ignore this email and here we have a user dot to, we'll go to the user dot to our generate password link so it will create this token that we have reset password token I will paste that and this will go to this URI that we just created reset password now so it will go to this our domain name then the users then the reset password now and it will pass this as a per reset password token so that's how we are gonna do that so let me quickly go ahead and test this API but one more thing that we have forgotten over here that's we need we also have some kind of a expiry of that re reset password link so what we gonna do is uh, what we can do over here is firstly this will be inside a query and we will check for that if the current date timestamp is uh, like exactly within that hour our state so how we are gonna do that so actually it's very simple and we'll we'll match with the other field that we have that is password reset expires in and we'll we'll make this with the current date timestamps so we can simply say uh, here if and gt is kind of a keyword that we are gonna use and we'll simply say date dot now so what is going on here is simply if the current date timestamp is just like uh, not very much greater than this one so we can access that otherwise it will look for this if this is just not in an hour so it will simply throw the user out so if the time is expired and instead of this thing I want to send a response so return res.json and with the status of uh, 401 which is unauthorized so 401 and then we are going to create this thing called message will be password reset link is actually password reset token is invalid or has expired and we also put a success flag which will be set to false so these are the two things that I want to do otherwise we'll send this password reset HTML file so with that all set I think we are good to go with our app now once we are done with that now we need another route in order to 
reset our password completely. So whatever the request we'll make from this page to another route where it will reset the password. So let me quickly copy that and this will be again a post request instead of get request. So and it will be an API. So I'm going to write API reset password now and we are not going to get our token over here. So we are simply going to say router dot get and not get actually it will be post request API slash reset password and now and that's how it will be and it will be asynchronous request and it will request and response and now with the help of this for now return res.json I'm gonna return request.body that whatever we'll get inside the body for now I'll get that okay so we have these three fields here and now what we are gonna do is gonna re test that out so if I send this new token we get that token this is a new token inside a beer token we'll paste that and we'll get our user from there now let's go ahead and initiate a password reset request so for that we will go to this password reset request so let me copy this api slash reset password and we'll paste that actually let's not make it over here instead of that let me copy that paste it over here slash api slash reset password and we will make this request post request and uh, let's make this for now empty one and actually it's saying post is not there users api slash okay so it was a put request sorry about that and now you can see we are getting our validators working so for now let me put that email gmail.com and one more thing i forgot over here so instead of this verify account we'll simply say reset password as a subject please reset your password okay and now let's try that out send that and you can see password reset link is sent to your email and you can also see the email body is there so you can see the status we'll get rid of this thing later but for now you can see all that stuff that we have so now if i go to my email id and if i refresh here you should find that reset password link over there so now we have this thing inside that and if i click on this one it will return that file so i think no such file and directory src templates and reset password password reset dot html page is not there so that's why let me quickly check that current journey reset okay so i made a typo inside this one password reset okay so let me close that link again and click on this verify now and now you can see this is there and you can see text center so that reset link is there and it is successfully now rendering our that thing so i'm not gonna get i'm gonna get rid of text center from here okay so you can see that is now there and let me give a class of mt3 so now this looks quite nice and let me copy this part again and there I want to give a BTN with a class of BTN and BTN primary and this will be reset password so if I go ahead and reload that you can see that reset password is there and also I'm gonna give a card title 
h3 with the card title class reset your password now uh, let me reload that and you can find this link over there now it's working fine everything is there all the IDs and everything is mashed up I don't know why it's not working so yeah okay so we still have that thing not is working so what I'm gonna do I, I'm going to make a request from here so let's make this form as a let's cut everything from here and let's call a form and not with any action and we paste everything inside that form and we'll hook for submit event submit and we are going to stop the default action so we'll simply say prevent and then we want to hook this form with this method that we have so it should call this method so we'll just put it over there and let equal to this so from this we are extracting our password field as well as confirm password field so from here we have extracted these things and now we'll look if password equal to confirm password field then only we are going to make the request make the api request and also we'll look for password field is not empty and and this confirm password is not equal to this thing so we are making two conditions over here so we are checking if that is not empty and also if we are just putting that out so that's one thing and now we'll make the use of fetch so we are going to make let response equal to or let's make it data equal to fetch slash we will go to our this url also so let password actually let's make it reset password token and we'll extract that from uri so we'll extract that from window object so now here we also need our need to grab our password reset link uh, reset token so we already have that inside our URL so with the help of URL we can extract that so we can simply say let reset password token equal to window dot location so from the location we are pulling that out dot h ref dot split and we are going to split everything with this one so this will make one area one object inside the area with this key the other one with this one the third one will be this and fourth one will be the local host and from that we want to get the last one so we will simply say pop function we'll make the use of pop function over here so this will help us in getting our that password reset token and inside this fetch we'll make the api call to our backend so that will be users slash and we have the password reset now reset password now link so this will be an api call here we'll passing that all the data that we have slash api and it will take a couple of extra parameters inside that so we'll simply say method not methods and that will be post method so it will be kind of a post request then we have a headers and inside that headers we'll pass our headers so we'll simply say content type and it will be application slash json so this will be our header and then the body so body of this request will be json dot stringify and we'll pass that in over here so password we'll pass our password as well as our other field that is reset password token and that's what we want and then we are going to map this will give a response 
so response and we are going to return res.json so this will return that json inside this data object that we have and now we'll look if res.success actually not res it will be data.success if that is true from the server we are getting that means we have successfully resetted our password and let's put a console log too so we'll call it api response uh, let's make it data and let's save this for now and let's see what happens so i'm gonna open my console over here so currently the, in this link you can see it is a on this route reset password now this is a post request and whatever we are getting inside the requested body we are returning that back so we should get back our values so let me type it so these two are different passwords so they are not matching so this shouldn't trigger the api call and we shouldn't get any response back from the server so inside my networks if i make this request okay so I reload it and these two are two different passwords so if I make this request okay so one thing is left we have to make this button of type submit and now if I reload it should make that request Nandy Mandy and these two are two different passwords so it is not making that request so now if I get rid of one one and i think we are getting ahead cannot have the body proxy reset password fetch on the window and let me quickly check that okay so methods might bad so now if i reload nandy mandy nandy mandy one and if I try this, this is not working. But if I get rid of one, now these two passwords are same. And now you can see this is an API response that we are getting back from the server. So in that, we also have our refresh token, our password reset token. And the, in the networks, we'll find that request is made. Inside the headers, we do have that password. So that's very useful for us. Now, with the help of this data, on the server we are going to reset our password so first of all we will be extracting our reset password token as well as our password let and firstly I'm gonna wrap everything inside try and catch block and we are getting our reset password as well as password field and in case of that thing goes wrong we want to render that thing over here and now we'll find that same process so inside let me copy this query so this whole part if there is a user with that password if that that is not there that means that was invalid access to our page so we'll throw the user out otherwise we'll simply change our new password so we can simply say inside our users we have this schema dot save so uh, user schema pre hook and now we can make the use of hook so this will automatically set that password so we'll simply say user dot password equal to password that we just passed from the server and then user dot uh, reset password token will be false and uh, let me check that if we have that reset password token only reset password token so we are passing that field and actually this will be become undefined and in the same way reset password expire token expires in so we'll make this value also undefined and once we are done we will save our user so user dot save and now once we are done saving everything properly here we can return a successful page response from our server so that will be inside a template 
and we will return this HTML page so let me copy everything reset password HTML so we are going to return this one okay so with that all set I think our application should be complete but what I want to do inside our user response wherever we have sent this response and actually I shouldn't be sending this one response actually I should be sending the response here so return res.json status but of 200 which is a resource accepted and inside that we have a message your password reset request is complete and your password is reset it successfully login to your account with your new password so we have the success and we also pass our success flag and that will be true so once we are done doing that we'll get rid of this one and we'll make another API call which will return our this file so uh, this uh, reset reset successful file and in that let me copy this to reset the password listed via email to issue reset password to render reset password page and in this one to initiate password reset route so these are the three routes for now and this will be a post request and this will be a get request so success uh, actually let's not make this one we don't need this one so what we can do is the make uh, make the use of our reset password one but one more thing I want to send an email to the user after doing everything so in that case we can again make the use of our send mail function that we created so let me copy everything from here and send notification email about the password reset successful process uh, let me paste that hello username your password is reset successfully if this uh, this reset password is not done by you then you can contact us contact our team whatever you feel like just put that and we don't need to put that link in there reset password success full your password changed and simple HTML and we are sending that email to the server too so now here also we are making uh, we are sending our success method and instead of this errors I want to return response that JSON that will be with this one for the status of 500 
success will be false something went wrong simple message so in case of error we are returning this response so now what I'm going to do inside my this password reset function we'll check for this data so here instead of this one I want to make this thing like a text so one thing let me make it text center error is text center this is working fine so we will render this whole thing this whole form and we make we can make the use of v directives that is done if not done otherwise render this thing v else your password reset is success full please log into your account and if data dot success is true we'll simply say this dot done equal to data dot success and after a couple of seconds we are going to uh, like uh, we are going to simply uh, close this tab so for that I'm gonna use JavaScript function set time out and this will give a callback function inside that and after let's say for five seconds after five seconds so uh, we have to pass milliseconds in here window dot opener and it will be self so it will grab the instance of current window screen and window dot close so it will close that down after five seconds once we are getting that successful response for error things and you can for error and stuff like that you can make modify this code how whatever you feel like so now if i reload this thing now and let me say that Mandy, Mandy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Mandy, Mandy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And now we are resetting our password. And now we are getting this our URL message. And this status is true. So after five second, what happened? Okay, so I made a mistake. That is success. So inside our API, it should be double C, success with double C. So let me refresh that. So now we no longer that has token. So our password is resetted and we should also get that reset password successful mail. So let's initiate this whole process again. So I'm going to reset my password first. We should get our email regarding our reset password so let me go ahead and verify now so from that we we have to pass our token so let me say that nandy mandy one two three and if i reset this thing now your password is reset successful and please log into your account so it's done and whole password reset successful is there your password is resetted successful if this is reset is not done by you then you can you can contact to our team so with that all set we are done with our this reset password request now and everything is working fine so let's go ahead and push this into the final repository so i'm going to create a new branch for that so for that get check out dash b lesson 5 and Firstly, we have to look all the branches. So branch dash A. So currently we are on the lesson four and this is lesson five. So we'll simply say get check out dash B lesson five and it will pull in this lesson four. So let me copy this. Now get add all commit whole password reset functionality 
implemented and we are gonna push that get push origin less than five so that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed this playlist uh, very efficiently and all sort of stuff we did a lot of cool things I know this was a lot of code to write but that's how we learn in the industry and that's what I wanted to something cover because I didn't find any kind of tutorial so on the YouTube also like a very less resource so I have to dig it dig in directly and also I will mention uh, re mention a medium link which I found for this article so from there only I learned this stuff and if you like this video give this leave this video with a thumbs up subscribe to our channel comment and share our words only these things motivate us to create awesome content like this so thank you guys see you until for the next time